Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bruna and I hope that you find today's video useful. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, uh, get involved and uh, if there's any way of improving this particular um, sort of DIY project then let me know and try it out. Um, so let's give you a little bit of background. I like trying natural stuff as much as possible and I've been using an activated toothpaste, charcoal to activated charcoal toothpaste. When I looked at the ingredients in there, I decided that I did actually have quite a lot of them and they looked quite simple. So I thought, let me try and see if I can make something of my own, changing my own ingredients, obviously sorting out and working out my own measurements. Um, and then to try it out, all the ingredients I'm going to use are going to be dry ingredients and hopefully it will work for you. I have an instinct that is going to work. I haven't actually tried this particular um, one here. This is the first time I'm making it, so we are going to make it together. Um, and then we'll see, hopefully it will work for you. Um, there are like things that you can amend if you can't buy them or if you don't want to buy them. Um, then there are some ingredients that you can change around but most of them you should be able to find I'm based in the UK and if you cannot find them in the U uh, in the UK um, or if you can't get them shipped over I'm sure if you checked on Amazon actually you'll probably find most if not all of the ingredients in there so do have a look around so let's get started I've got my uh, grinder here I've already got some of the ingredients in there and this one is a coffee grinder and I've got loads and loads of different grinders for different projects so this one is only used for things like clays and stuff like that are mixed to are mix in there. Um, the container was already cleaned up and disinfected with isopropyl alcohol, that's rubbing alcohol. So that was cleaned out long before and led to air dry to keep it nice and clean and safe. Um, and now that's been cleaned. So I've got in here, I'm going to mix all these ingredients and the measurements are that it's going to be a total of 60 grams. And I've got in there some part of it, but this is what I've got in there. I hope you can see it. And that is a bentonite clay. Um, and there are many, many uh, beneficial um, uh, sort of reasons why you would use bentonite clay. Do have a look online and do your own research and make sure that you're happy with the ingredients. But bentonite clay, I use it all the time in my face masks and other things. So I saw it used in the uh, the, the, the dry, the, uh, um, um, toothpaste and I decided I'm going to give it a try so it's the biggest ingredient here and here I have measurements of 25 grams which I'm going to now put inside the grinder and add that in there and it's going to be a bit messy so it does get a bit messy my apologies I should have had something a sheet or something underneath but hey I'll just have to clean it up afterwards so don't mind me um the next ingredient is charcoal which you can see here that this is cosmetic grade charcoal and again the the site where i got this from is uh, online now i know that a lot of the time it's actually activated charcoal this is not activated charcoal the process of uh, making activated charcoal can be for me anyway i find it quite daunting so i didn't choose that so i went for the standard charcoal it should be able to work still and be effective so this one is really finely milled and it's very very fine um so i'm going to use that and in there i have 15 grams of charcoal that i'm going to add in here and the reason why i mix them i want to mix them put them put them all in here is because i want all the ingredients to be fully mixed together so that is going to in there and I'm going to make a right mess of it. So that's going in. Okay, now the, ne the next larger, largest ingredient is this one in here. Not sure if you'll be able to see that. And in there I have a xylitol, which is an alternative to sugar. It's much healthier. I just want to give it a touch of sweetness, but not too, too sweet. It is also apparently good for your teeth. I've used it and it's much healthier than sugar. So I'm using xylitol, which again, you can find on Amazon. Or if you're based in the UK, you can pop over to Tesco's. That's why I bought mine in the sugar section. And you can buy that. Um, so I've got that. But what I did before placing it in there is I actually put it inside the grinder as well. And I actually had it grounded to... Um, like a powdery to the consistency of of icing sugar so that everything is nice and mild and 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 very smooth when it comes to brushing your teeth so you don't want any of the larger grains that's not what we want so you want to include that in there so i've got five grams of xylitol in there okay 
the next ingredient i have now these ones two grams of each in here i have two grams of baking soda and that's the i think it's a almond hammer i think it is um baking soda but you can again buy it from uh from amazon that's why i bought mine a while ago so that is baking soda and i've got two grams of baking soda in there next item i have in there is um i've got cinnamon um and there are many benefits to cinnamon which is uh, really good for your stomach and so on but it's also good for the mouth but you have a read through and do your own research but i have also got two grams of fresh cinnamon now this is cinnamon that's not the standard cinnamon that you find already in a in a supermarket this one actually i bought from a website called cinnamon hill which is uh, um, this cinnamon is from Sri Lanka. it is lovely it's it smells gorgeous you can actually the aroma is so nice and it's really sweet and i've got two grams in there but i put the link of the website where i got it from and you can purchase there and that's where i buy my cinnamon in in stick formats and then i grind them inside a grinder and use them for all sorts of things including when i'm making cakes for the kids and so on so i've got cinnamon net two grams that's going to be added in that's piling up now so shaking it a bit and the uh, next ingredient, which is um, uh, this one, is um, uh, grounded uh, um, mint leaves, which I bought online from a, a shop called, um, sorry, a website called um, soap, uh, soapkitchen.com. I buy lots of my stuff, ingredients from there when I make creams and so, and so on. But if you don't want to have to go and buy um, mint leaves, then just go to the supermarket, get the fresh ones, dry them out probably inside um, an oven or something. And again, place them inside a grinder and you can have it all finely milled like this or grounded like this. So I've got, again, I've got two grams in there. So that's two grams of uh, mint leaves, dried mint leaves. And then the final ingredient I have here, which I did buy, which I did get, which is pure ginger in powder format which you can buy from the supermarket anywhere um, in uh, the spices section so i've got only one gram of the ginger in there because we don't want it to to be too powerful so we just add that in there so all the ingredients are in so again we've got 25 grams of bentonite clay 15 grams of charcoal 10 grams of uh, baking soda um, and five grams of xylitol, then two grams of mint leaves, or the same amount of for fresh cinnamon, and the final one, one gram of ginger. Now we're just going to mix them all together, and I've just got plastic, uh, plastic sheet here, which I'm just going to place on top of it here, as you can see. And now we're just going to take the cover. And grind the lot together it shouldn't take long at all should probably take about a minute of grinding to get everything nice and smooth and mix well mixed together so do bear with me whilst I do that and here we are that's everything all mixed together now and there's the color looking very dark gray almost black but that's the way it is so, so everything's been nicely mixed together and so really smooth smooth i'm just using a plastic spoon i've got my container here which should take uh, about 60 grams but you can always change the measurements um if you want to make a larger batch but this particular container here for the 60 gram should last me probably um a good two three months at the most, at the most or even longer than that um, so you should last for that length of time and these are just dry ingredients so I'm just going to scoop some in here and try not to drop everything everywhere nearly done and I'm making a mess of it nothing unusual you should see me when I'm baking my son is even worse he's taken to baking now so he's always you know baking biscuits and all sorts and mess everywhere but here we are so that's right up to the top in fact what with what i mixed there you can probably actually this is probably it's a 60 gram this this container is supposed to take 60 gram but 
more there's more than half in here so this will last you a very very long time get a bigger container perhaps maybe 80 or 100 grams and put that in there or whichever container you happen to have try and get one where it is um a dark color to try and make sure that the uh, items don't, don't oxidize because these are most of them natural ingredients and that's all done and voila now you've made yourself um a sort of not activated but charcoal toothpaste with uh, most ingredients that you find indoors um and it's diy so hopefully i hope that you enjoy it do give it a try let me know if uh, it works for you um i mean i can't make any claims as to how white is going to make your teeth but it's meant to actually whiten your teeth but i think what you will notice the most is just how clean your mouth feels so give it a try but before anything else Please make sure that you do your own research. Make sure that these ingredients that you're going to use are going to be safe and acceptable for you. I Everyone reacts differently. This is the first time I'm making this, but I've used many of these ingredients separately uh, before without any reactions whatsoever. But you might find you might have a reaction. So do be careful with what you use. Do your own research first and make sure that it works for you. And hopefully it will work. And if it does, come back and post and let me know. But for now, see ya. Bye.